An expensive and valuable resource, it is assessed Ukraine's strike on Russian radar R-416GM. Russian radio relay communication stations R-416GM Granite M, one of which was recently tracked down and hit by Ukrainian fighters with a latest development drone, are an expensive and valuable resource, writes Forbes. Unlike many Western armies, the Russian army cannot always count on access to long-distance communication satellites. Thus, the Russians rely mainly on an alternative to satellite radio, terrestrial radio stations that reflect signals from the troposphere. The Russian network of tropospheric radio stations depends on special repeaters which receive and relay weak signals emanating from the troposphere. These radio relay devices are an expensive and valuable resource, the publication says. It is indicated that the destruction of one R416GM from the many dozens of similar vehicles that the Russians have deployed along the entire front line will not lead to a significant disruption of Russian communications. But if the Ukrainians manage to find and destroy more radio relay vehicles, the old R-142 and new R-419L1, in addition to the R-416 GM, they could begin to stun and confuse some combat units, cutting them off from the top, the article notes. It is also reported that the Special Operations Forces of the Ukrainian Armed Forces tracked down and hit the R-416GM station in the vicinity of Kremyanoye in southern Russia near the border. How the Ukrainians found the R-416GM is unclear. The skilled and patient crew of the drone may have identified it from countless hours of surveillance footage. It is also possible that Ukrainian intelligence detected Russian radio transmissions and tracked them to a repeater. It is possible that the R-416GM crew gave themselves away for obvious laziness or incompetence, making him an easy target for an attack drone. Forbes writes, Argentina and France may transfer Super Etendard aircraft to Ukraine. Argentina is actively discussing with France the transfer of Super Etendard attack aircraft to Ukraine. Currently, these aircraft are inoperable due to an embargo imposed by the United Kingdom, according to Infobay. The discussion involves sending five Super Etendard combat aircraft, which have been decommissioned due to the embargo imposed by the UK against Argentina following the Falklands War. France's involvement is crucial to overcoming this geopolitical obstacle, and Chancellor Diana Mondino and Defence Minister Louis Petri have been working for weeks to advance this secretive move, which also involves the participation of the United States and NATO, the Infobay states. The five fighters are stored at the Espora Air Base in Puerto Belgrano because they require cartridges that enable the ejection seats in case of an emergency. Argentina does not have access to these cartridges due to the British embargo and since the planes arrived in Argentina, they have never been able to be used. It is expected that France will repair them and transfer them to Ukraine. The Super Etendard is a French supersonic carrier-based attack aircraft. It was developed based on the Etendard IVM aircraft and made its first flight on October the 28th, 1974. A total of 85 aircraft were built. It was exported to Argentina and a few were briefly operated by the Iraqi Air Force. The aircraft gained significant popularity during the Falklands War. In the French Navy, these aircraft are being retired and are planned to be completely replaced by Dassault Rafale multi-role fighters by 2015. The Falklands or Malvinas War of 1982 was a conflict between the United Kingdom and Argentina over control of the Falkland Islands. Neither Argentina nor the United Kingdom formally declared war on each other. From both perspectives, the military actions were seen as a restoration of control over their rightful territory. The war ended in a decisive victory for the United Kingdom, which continues to control the islands to this day. F-16s for Ukraine will be armed with ATA CMS missiles, analysts called the expected reward. 
If you really set yourself a goal, then the task of integrating American ATA CMS missiles under the wings of the F-16 fighter seems realistic and the reward will be the ability to hit targets at ranges that significantly exceed 300 kilometers. Defense Express analysts shared this opinion. Experts noted that ATA CMS could well have been called JTA CMS, that is Joint Tactical Missile System, since at first it was planned to create a universal missile that would be used not only for ground forces, but also for air forces. In 1984, the US Air Force withdrew from the project and two years later, Ling Temco Fort won the competition with its version of the MGM-140. That is, at the project stage, ATA CMS was planned for air launch. Moreover, its carrier was also supposed to be two F-16s, but all that remains of this project is a plastic model in extremely poor condition, the material says. Analysts emphasized that the complexity of integrating this American missile lies not only in how to hang it under the wings of the F-16. It is also necessary to make changes to the navigation algorithms of the missile, which will no longer launch with the parameters of zero altitude and speed and also to teach the aircraft to interact with these weapons, JTACMS demonstrates that with a high degree of probability, all calculations and methods have already been worked out in the 80s. The article notes, at the end of April, the New York Times wrote that US authorities secretly sent more than 100 long-range ATACMS missiles to the Ukrainian state. Later, the head of the US Department of Defense, Lloyd Austin, said that such weapons are not a magic solution for an effective long-range campaign. Ukraine also expects Western partners to provide it with the promised F-16 aircraft. The first F-16 fighters will arrive from the Netherlands to Ukraine in the summer of 2024. Dutch Defense Minister Kaiser Ollongren stated this in an interview with the European Truth. She clarified that the corresponding procedure is going according to plan. First, the planes will arrive from Denmark and then from the Netherlands. I expect that starting this summer, the first F-16s will be delivered to Ukraine and from then on, their deliveries will be put on stream. There will be more and more aircraft and this will strengthen your air forces, Ollongren said.